Uncle Mark, welcome to my channel. Nice to have you with us. Uh, if you're either new or an existing subscriber, great uh, to have you along with us again. Working on uh, my RV fifth wheel trailer, just some little thing bugging me. You'll see what it is. Uh, one of the moldings, or every molding, there's three of them, on our cupboards have shrank and it just, it looks stupid. It's, you know, it's supposed to be simulated wood and somehow it's shrank. So I want to make it look a little better, show you how to do it. And it's pretty easy. See what you think if it was worth trying or not. So if you're like me, sometimes things bug you. And this is bugging me a little bit. If you look up here, this molding has shrank a good half an inch or more. And I know it's because I, I can see it because I'm tall, right? So you, you look at this thing and I see the top. What's going on here? You know what we can do about this? I think we can just take that off lightly. We'll be very gentle and take the whole thing off, set it from the top and put it back down. Come take a look. Actually, it's on this cabinet too, right there. And if we go along this side here too, where is it now? Another one. So like I say, underneath it shrank a little bit too, but who looks under there? I think this is gonna be a lot more noticeable. Let's try and, let's fix this one first. I'm just gonna grab it from the middle here and just see, this one is actually fairly easy to come off here. I'm being very gentle though. Uh, I don't know how much bending I'd want to do. This is where I was concerned. How is that sitting in there? But no, it's just popping out. I don't know if it was glued before. Hard to tell. Now this might be a problem. I, might have, I think I'm gonna have to heat that. I'll just heat it with, uh, actually it looks like it'll bend. You could just heat it with a, a hair dryer or something. I don't know what side to heat up. That's wanted to kind of lay flat. Just so I'm not, you know causing it some kind of too much stress or something. Well, it feels like it's going straight. Just, you don't want to get this so hot that it's going to bubble or whatever. I don't think this piece will. It just looks like it's a solid plastic piece. There you go. That's, that's coming. It doesn't make it too hot. It just, I'm not even sure where the bend's going to be now. Woo! I'll make it all straight. You can see it's, it's, uh, you see the way that's shaped? So this T or whatever fits in there. So I'm just going to hold it basically to the top and just pop it in there. It, it just pops in like, I'm just going to run her down. I'm just going to slowly just push it in there. It looks like it's going to stay in there. And then, yeah, I don't even think I need to heat it. I think it'll just stay. Uh, what you can do is uh, check it later if it shrinks or whatever. At least this is for ones that are not glued in. This just seems to be, well, this is uh, 15 years old or something already, but doesn't that look better? Remember what it looks like before? So way under here, if somebody were to really look, they'd see there's a gap there, but... Who's going to be, if, even if you're a child, you're going to be probably this high. You'll never notice unless somebody told you. It's possible. I'm not going to bother trying, but maybe if you heat it up enough, you could have stretched it. But, no, nah, I don't think so. It's sat in warm water, but you might even be able to buy this stuff. I'd be very careful, though. Uh, this doesn't seem brittle, but I'm not, you know, being rough on it. Let's do the other ones. See, so again, I just, I just grabbed it here and just kind of pulled it. Even if you have to pull on the sides a little bit. 
Well, it's just I'm just being gentle. There you go. <laughs> That's what it looks like up close. I don't think it's glued in. I think it just snapped in. That's why we got all this fluff. I have to vacuum that up or the wife's not going to be happy. If we do this, well, my wife probably wouldn't care anyway. She never noticed. <laughs> Let's warm that up. Yeah, I'm just gonna just try and warm it up a little bit. I don't know how much. Just be careful. Why even be on like a Mac pack or something on there? Yeah, hard to see. That'll be fine. I'm gonna put it right side up though. Okay, so I'm gonna take the top, basically put it where it was or should be, and then just start rubbing it down. It's just sliding in. I'm just gonna push that baby in there. Have to use some force. Oh, I can even get a rubber mallet or something, but it's going in. It's a little bit. It's fighting me a little bit. There you go. That looks. You know, if you're selling it or something, it might just be a. Uh, it's something I'd look at going, oh, that's shrinking. Let's do the last one. This one here, again, same issue. It looks horrible when you really notice it. Laura, you'll have to check yours later if you have this kind of thing. Oh, I'm just gonna pop it off. Yeah, it's just literally come popping out like butter. But it's, I don't know, 70 degrees in here and it's it needs to be heated. That would break, I think, if I tried not heating it. So let's go heat it. You just want it warming up. This is kind of overkill with this heat gun that I've got, but I have it at my disposal, so. Oh, it's starting to get soft. Yeah, yeah spaghetti. It could be super soft, I guess, just almost whew, hot now. And just pop it in there. It just pops in like. So now what you can do is just press with your hand and give it a good rub to make sure it's all in there. Snap it in there nice. Probably, it's probably shrank as much as it's going to shrink now, so you'll probably need, never need to do this again, but... It does look a lot better, doesn't it? It's the little things. So that's how you can, you know, fix these little things if they're bothering you. You know, especially let's say you're trying to sell your trailer and you want to get top dollar for it. Little things like this could detract from it. Maybe it won't. What's it gonna hurt? As long as you're careful, as I mentioned here, be, be careful that everything's warm. You don't want to be doing this when it's really, really cold. You could maybe heat it up a little bit and just see if it just pries off that easy. If it does, you're okay. And it should just snap in. Some might be glued in. Uh, that's not going to work. Like maybe it's a table edge or something. But this seems to be pretty good. I've got a buddy that's got a similar trailer. I know once he sees this video, he's going to be doing this too. 
If you like the video, why not give me the thumbs up? That way maybe somebody else will realize that hey, this might be not a bad video. You can also subscribe down here. Uh, you can check out my playlist. Um, we'll do a RV trailer repair playlist. A few other things we're fixing on this. Plus, who knows what will add to it. I never know what's going to break, right? So just make these videos as it comes along. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you guys take care for now. Uncle Mark saying bye-bye. Remember to be safe. Your safety is your responsibility and should be priority number one. Also, if you like the video, why not give me the thumbs up? Plus, please subscribe. You can just ring the bell to get all notifications. It's easy. We'll show you how. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Testing one, two, three. Uncle Mark, one, two, three, four. What the heck? Take two cameras on, right?